Hello, Paul Ellis from The Rick Group here. I'm going to give you a webinar on our warehouse management solution for MYBXO. So The Rick Group was established in 2001 and we've got customers all over the world including Australia, New Zealand, North America, Asia, Middle East and Africa. Our customers are in distribution and manufacturing. We were recently a sponsor for the MYB Enterprise Roadshow and we work with the MYB Enterprise partners throughout Australia and New Zealand. Our warehouse management solution is now new technology, written in C Sharp and MVC. It's agnostic and will run on all environments. So as a customer, you can bring your own device. Audits are in real time. Power BI can be used for business intelligence. Works with MYBXO and MYB Vance. Web services for integration with MYBXO. API for integration with MYB Advanced. Runs on Android rugged devices such as Cypher Lab RS50. And the Rick Group software is Australian made and Australian owned. Sales at therickgroup.com is our email address that you can always email us for further information. Visit our website or feel free to visit our YouTube channel. So as you can see, I am in the warehouse management software. I've logged in, I've clicked into receiving and there's uh, open purchase orders. So what I want to do is create a new purchase order and then receive against it. So if I go into MYBXO, I'm going to create a new purchase order. I'm going to create it against Aussie Car Parks. And I'm going to select a couple of items. I'll select the, the alarm products, uh, one on one, and save and exit. So we can see here for Aussie Car Parts, I've created a purchase order and it's not processed. So I'm going to go into the warehouse management software, click on receiving and go to Aussie Car Parts and we can see that 196 has now appeared. So I've selected my supplier to look at the open purchase orders that are available to receive against. By clicking into that purchase order, what you can see here is a purchase qu quantity and a receive quantity. The process after receiving is putting away, so I could then put these items into their bin locations that they should be stored away in. So I've got driving into the item, I can select the item, and I can scan an item. Obviously by scanning an item it's going to increment the quantity. I've just manually entered the quantity here. If I go back to this screen as well, if I scan the item it's going to in automatically increment the, the receive quantity for alarm 05. I'm just going to manually enter. So what we have here is a good receipt and it's now completed. I've received uh, what I've purchased and the next process from here is go to put away. So if I go into put away, we'll see here that it's automatically selected as the last uh, put away. So note that I can put away when I'm receiving as well. So if I go to Aussie Car Parts, automatically will be selected. So this is really quite dynamic. It's a real-time warehouse management solution. As soon as I receive the goods, I can put away. I could receive this pallet and put away, receive the next pallet and put away. So I could be having multiple people in the warehouse management solution with the different devices going at the separate times. I could receive all the goods at once like I'm doing now, make sure they pass a QA process and then do the put away process. So if I scan the item, it's going to automatically increment the put away process or put away quantity. So you can see here it's receive quantity and put away quantity. But I'm just going to drive into the item select one and you can see it's giving me a bin location to put it away in. Go into the next item, Oop, I can't, uh, insufficient quantity, I can't put away more than what I've received. So now I've put away, it's giving me a bin location, I've received, I've put away everything. Obviously if I've received a quantity I have to put it away. So if I go back and uh, select this purchase order, uh, sorry this uh, goods receipt, and what I want to do is complete. And once I've completed, it's going to now create the goods receipt in, MYB, in MYBXO for that purchase order. So what I've received and put away should now be in MYBXO. So if I go into the receipt inwards goods, we know that it was Aussie, uh, Aussie car parts. You can immediately see there's a receipt here now for 3rd of the 12th today. Aussie car parts. If I open that up, Here's my items, and you can see I've received one of one. So I can now go and do my process of costing 
Um, I can part receipt if I want to and then you know uh, do those processes as well. But the way that we've done it with our warehouse management solution is create the purchase order in MYBXO, feed that to the warehouse management solution for your goods receiving and put away process, and then come back, automatically have that populated in MYBXO, and then do your costing process. So you can do your costing process from here. That is the way that we do the goods receiving process. Thank you for listening. Appreciate your time and speak to you soon.